Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. In the game of Tetris, there are seven pieces, each made up of four square units. The shapes are called tetrominoes in mathematical literature. Can you use one of each piece to form a 7x4 rectangle? If so, find a way. If not, prove why it's impossible. I thank Dr. Perkins for sending me this delightful problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. The answer is that it's impossible, and we will demonstrate the solution by using a graph coloring. Consider a 7x4 rectangular grid. Color the squares alternately light and dark like a checkerboard. This is one way you could color the squares, but this is not the only way. You could actually color the squares in another pattern. But in either case, there are an equal number of 14 light squares and 14 dark squares. Now let's consider a coloring of the tetrominoes. First, let's consider the following six tetrominoes. Let's imagine coloring the squares alternately light and dark like a checkerboard. This is one way you could color each piece, but there's another way that you could color the pieces. But in either case, each piece always has an equal number of two light squares and two dark squares. These six pieces always have 12 light squares and 12 dark squares. Now let's consider the T tetromino. What happens when we color it like a checkerboard? Here's one way you could color it, and here's another way. The T tetromino always has two more squares of one color. Either it has one light square and three dark squares, or it has three light squares and one dark square. So, if we could make a 7x4 rectangle using one of each piece, then the seven tetrominoes would combine for a total of 14 light squares and 14 dark squares. But, six of the tetrominoes always have the same number of light and dark squares, for a total of 12 light squares and 12 dark squares. The T tetromino, however, creates an asymmetry. It either has three light squares and one dark square, or it has three dark squares and one light square. Using one of each piece, we will either have a total of 15 light squares and 13 dark squares, or a total of 15 dark squares and 13 light squares. The seven pieces can never combine to have exactly 14 light squares and 14 dark squares. Thus, it is impossible for them to form a 7x4 rectangle. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic, you can email me presh at mindyourdecisions.com.